Hello guys, Moritz here, back with another video on the Ultimate Raspberry Pi build and today we are going to install the ATX Raspbian which allows you first of all to turn the Raspberry Pi on and off as well as rebooting it. Also it will cut all the power to the Raspberry Pi after it has turned off. As you can see you've got 5 volts coming in through either of this micro USB port or this JST connector but you could also solder in a 2.1 millimeter jack instead of this JST and on the other hand you can connect your Raspberry Pi to this side either to this USB port or directly to those pins up here also you will need to connect two GPIO pins to this board for boot OK and shutdown. So the boot OK is the signal coming from the Raspberry Pi. So this thing knows that the Raspberry Pi has successfully booted up and the shutdown signal is coming from this ATX Raspberry board going to the Raspberry Pi so the Raspberry Pi knows to either reboot or shut down. And up top you've got four connectors for connecting up a button, those are the left two ones and an LED, those are the right two ones. And if you press the button the LED will light up and blink if the Raspberry Pi is turning on or off. You could also use any microcontroller and a MOSFET or something to turn on the Raspberry Pi yourself and a little script for that but I've chosen this rather expensive ATX Raspberry board because it makes things a lot easier and you don't have to do a lot more stuff. What we will do next is connect it up to the Raspberry Pi and for that we will use this jumper cable for testing purposes first. So this will go to these two connectors right here to the boot OK and shutdown and then I will connect those to not the standard pins from the ATX Raspberry setup because I'm planning to connect other things to the GPIOs on the right side of the Raspberry Pi so we will use pin 38 and 40 which are GPIO pins 20 and 21 and we will connect um, this up like that so that the let me check the shutdown pin is connected to GPIO 21 and the boot OK pin is connected to GPIO 20 and the other one is just floating or not connected it is connected to the pin out here because I didn't have another jumper cable with less than three leads and also we will connect the button for that I made this handy connector for it so it just plugs in up here and that is the button connected as well as the LED. So next we will use one of our short USB cables to plug it into the Pi drive cable and this one goes into the output of ATX Raspberry and then we will connect our input power to the ATX Raspberry like so and then we just press this button and turn on the Raspberry Pi and Pi drive and then I will see you back at the screen because then we need to install a script that handles the booting and rebooting and all the stuff communicating with this board. So back at the screen again I will just log in and then what you need to do is to download the script from GitHub. For that I will just cheat by looking onto my tablet. So what we want to type in is wget https raw.github user content.com slash low power lab slash ATX Raspi slash master slash shutdown check setup dot sh. Now check if it's downloaded. So since we are not using the standard pins from the ATX Raspi, which would be GPIO 8 and 7, we are using 20 and 21. We will need to modify the shutdown check itself and we do so by 
opening it up in our favorite editor and then we will need to change the shutdown and boot like here so currently shutdown is set to GPIO 7 and boot is set to GPIO 8 and we will want to set it up so that boot is GPIO 20 and shutdown 21. So we will remove the 7 and type 21 and the 8 and type in 20. So if you mess this up you won't be able to restart or boot into this operating system ever again because the script will get started before the user interface so it will always shut down your Pi before you can do anything and it only works if you connect the ATX Raspberry. So I think the only option would be to find every single pin and pull it low so that Raspberry Pi doesn't reboot again. We will also need to go down in the file here because shutdown is here again as well as boot down here so don't forget to set those two if we remember shutdown was 21 and boot 20 so we have to change that here too shutdown 21 and boot 20 let's go down even more and check if we didn't miss anything yep that looks good so shutdown 21 boot 20 shutdown 21 and boot 20 so now we will save this file and run it by typing in sudo bash shutdown check and then we will use the interrupt based script and that's that done and now we can reboot the raspberry pi and see what happens And if everything worked according to plan, we should see the login screen again and this should not shut down. Also, the LED on the ATX Raspberry should light up the boot OK LED should light up. But first, let's see if everything works here. That worked, but the LED did not turn on. So let's see what happened here. But let's try logging in. And let's see if we can find this script running somewhere. No. So let's try running this again and disabling any script and then try the polling one which is the classic and now we should reboot again and see if it works let's cross our fingers and hope for the best so the LED lit up and yeah it didn't shut down. Let's move over to the ATX Raspberry board and then we will check if the Raspberry Pi shuts down when we press the button. So back at the Raspberry Pi, you can see the green LED here is lit up. And now if we press the button for five seconds or so, you can see the red LED lighting up and the button fading in and out and the Raspberry Pi as you can see is flashing and turned off so that's working like a charm and also the drive itself is turned off because this board cuts the power to everything so this doesn't use any current when it's turned off but that's it for this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for more in the next video we are going to try to keep the Raspberry Pi cool whenever it heats up so stay tuned for that bye